So it's the first day of winter and we're at the range. It's a very pleasant day for the 21st of December. It's almost 50 degrees out. A little bit of snow on the ground but it's melting. Got a little bit of mud but it's not too bad. I wanted to get out today while it was nice and run a few rounds through this M38 Swedish Mauser 6.5 by 55 Swede. Swede. I'd like you to meet my big friend, Sweet Johansson. It's my first Swedish Mauser, and it's my first 6.5 caliber anything. So today I was running these uh, PPU factory loads. This is a uh, soft point boat tail, 139 grain. Pretty standard PPU ammo. I bought five boxes of them so I'd have 100 pieces of brass. So I figured I'd run 20 today. So far, I've shot 15 rounds out of the rifle and it looks really promising. I'm at 50 yards so it, uh, even with the open sights, it's working real well. I was trying to decide if I wanted to move back to 100 and run the last five. The nice thing is the 50 yard line is in the sun today and it's nice and warm. 100 yard line is in the shade. So, I was kind of thinking I might go ahead and finish up the last five here at 50 yards. And uh, it's supposed to be nice the next couple of days. So I thought I could maybe get out again tomorrow or Monday and uh, enjoy the weather a little bit more and get a little more time on this Swedish Mauser. Um, so far, I, I'm really happy with it. Uh, the rifle's all matching what's numbered on a 38 anyway. Uh, they don't number as many parts as on some of the other models, but uh, the receiver and, and whatnot matches the bolt and all of the, you know, the safety cocking piece. Everything that's numbered does match other than the stock. The stock when I had the rifle apart, the numbers are um, inside the stock and inside the forearm. They are a different set of numbers. Um, the rifle's pretty much standard. It has been refinished. Um, it looks good, but uh, you know it has been it has been refinished. But I'm very happy with it so far, and I've got the sight all the way down. And I was expecting it to shoot well high, but it didn't. It's shooting more or less to point of aim here at 50 yards. So. It, um, it does have a zero front sight on it, so it should uh, should be pretty close, but I'd say I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, I'll go ahead and run the last five rounds through it. I did notice it was a little fussy feeding the first round when I have all five in it. So the last two groups, or excuse me, the, yeah, the last... The first group I ran all five and it was tight going in. I did the same thing the second time and it was a little bit uh, fussy going in. Did my camera stop? I think it did. Nope, it's still going. It's just my preview is frozen. So the, uh, the first group I ran all five and it was a little tight on the first round going in. Second uh, group it was the same way. So for the third group I ran three and two. So I'll go ahead and do that again and see how it works. So I've got uh, three in the magazine right now. Closes just fine. It's a very gentle shooter. Um, you know, comparing the recoil, it's it's certainly less than the 765 by 53 Argentine, and it's certainly less than most of the loads that I shoot in 7 by 57. So it's uh, very very pleasant to shoot. It has a little larger notch in the rear sight than my Argentines and Chilean Mausers do. Uh, this is more of a 
a flat bottom notch. Some of my other Mausers, it's more of a V, but uh, it, it seems to line up real well. I, I'm not having any problems seeing the front sight. It does have the, uh, the hood or shroud on the front. That doesn't seem to be hindering anything. It's, there's plenty of light getting through. But in, you know, in general, it feels the same as my. It, it feels almost identical to the, to the, um, 95 Chileans, and uh, very very similar to my 91 Argentines. So it's uh, it's a familiar feeling rifle. It was a. Uh, consignment at a local shop. I went and took a look at it and, and grabbed it. I uh, totally disassembled the rifle, cleaned everything up. Uh, it's, it was real straight inside and whatnot. The steel is all real good on it. Um, let's say the stock has been refinished. This is not this is not a Swedish sling. It's just one I had kicking around and put on there. I think I have some strippers that will work with this. I'm not sure though, I'll have to check. I mostly wanted to get out while the weather was good and put a few rounds through it. One thing I do like is the uh, the knurled tab on the cocking piece. I can demonstrate how that is. Well, if you close the rifle, you can decock these by putting your thumb on there and letting it down. That's a, a real nice feature of these uh, of this model of Mauser. When I first started, the first group I, uh, I held at 6 o'clock thinking that it was going to shoot well high and it didn't, it shot point of aim. So now I've moved up and I'm holding just a little above the center of the bullseye uh, to try to get the point of impact you know, near the 10 ring. So this will be the last round out of this box. So far, I really like it. Let's uh, go down and take a look at the target. Okay, so we're walking up to the backstop here and here's our target. This is a 50 yard target. I've put 15 rounds on this target in 50 yards. The first target I saved with the first five out of the rifle, but uh, this I think was my very first shot on this target of the first three groups and I got that one down and out, but uh, Boy, I tell you what, look at this. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them right there clustered up and the balance around there. I'm really happy with how the rifle's shooting, especially for the first time out. You know, sometimes you pick up these new rifles and you're not really sure what to expect. And uh, I'm very pleased with this so far. And uh, next time I get it out, I'll move it back to a little further distance. I uh, flirted around with the idea of just starting at 200 yards today with the new rifle and seeing what happened and I think I probably would have been okay if I did. <laughs>